Hi, this is MK and today's video is about creating your own muscle testing dynamometer using a crane scale. Now we as physiotherapists uh, universally use the mus manual muscle testing to determine muscle strength and weakness in our patients. Now this was uh, widely popularized and standardized during the 1940s actually when there was a polio outbreak by Henry and Florence Kendall. And it was a quick and simple and reliable way to check each muscle groups for the primary effect of polio muscle weakness. Uh, though it's widely used, however, there's a flaw with manual muscle testing. These procedures may not be very accurate in those with higher levels of uh, strength. A fact actually which has been known long back, but we still use this. Uh, there's a paper by Beasley which found that manual muscle testing was only able to detect weakness in knee extensors once the difference between sides were greater than 50 percent so today we what we can uh, infer is that manual muscle tests are known as a good test for weakness but it's well known that they are not so accurate when it comes to assessing strength however as technology progressed the next gold standard developed for muscle strength testing was dynamometer which used large expensive machines to measure, measure force production. Uh, usually the common ones are the Biodex or the Kincom isokinetic dynamometers. However, this is not really readily available in many clinics because it's quite expensive. However, as technology progressed again, then came the handheld isometric dynamometer, which became a standard. So, the micro FET as shown in this diagram or the Lefayet. These uh, dynamometers have, uh, were accurate and has shown high levels of inter-rater and intra-rater reliability uh, in one study. So this were the technological advancement. Now, this uh, handheld dynamometers cost around $1,000 uh, $1, plus. Okay, though it's accurate, and the uh, cost is lesser than those expensive Biodex Kincom machines, it's still a bit prohibitive for an average clinician. So what we do is we use a little bit of creativity so that we can make our own handheld dynamometer for any muscle test with a much smaller initial uh, investment in a budget, right? So what I generally use is a crane scale. So if you see here, this is a setup for measuring knee extension strength. And uh, in this diagram, you can see that I have placed a, a, a balance pad, a cushion, so that the knee is dangling. And we position the crane scale by attaching one end to the chair and one end with the ankle strap to the uh, lower end of the knee. So from here, we ask the uh, patient to do a knee extension to a maximum voluntary contraction strength as possible. So, so that's why we set it up at around 90 degrees so that when they pull, it comes to around 60 degrees uh, of knee extension where they are able to uh, pull and create a force production in their muscle. So if you look at this video, okay. The good thing about the crane scale uh, is you can see that when they start doing knee extension, you can, uh, there's a hold button where once they, we can make it, uh, make it hold so that the qu quantity it can be held there and it's uh, memorized in that uh, crane scale. So uh, we take around three measurements and make an average uh, of the three me measurement to get a, a point, which will be either in Newton, kg or uh, in kilograms or pounds. Right, so this is a low budget or an inexpensive way to measure uh, knee strength. There are also other things even cheaper which you can use like the luggage scale, uh, simple luggage scale or the handheld dynamometer, though there's no uh, studies looking at this. However, the crane scale, uh, there, were, there are uh, some studies looking at uh, the reliability. Uh, it's a crude way of measuring strength when we do not have all these expensive uh, expensive uh, tools uh, like the handheld dynamometer or the 
uh, Biodex uh, and the Kincom machine. So, uh, I, so I like to use the crane scale. It costs around uh, $50 and it is able to measure up to 300 uh, pounds. So my message is that if you're not measuring, then you are guessing. So in, in the case of uh, knee, uh, post knee surgical or post ACL surgery, even return to sports, we need to measure some amount of uh, quadriceps index to be able to look at the force production. So in, in order to decide on return to sports and all that. So if you are not able to measure, at least we need some sort of uh, or quantifiable measure to be able to justify uh, what we do. So if you're not measuring, you are guessing. So thank you. And uh, if you, uh, I hope this uh, video is useful and uh, you'll be able to get some sort of uh, a measuring tool so that you will be able to measure muscle strength uh, properly and to quantify it so that we have a uh, measure and not a guesswork. Thank you and uh, see you soon.